Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny with another tutorial how to cartoon any image you want. So we're going to be using the free version and let's get into the video. So I'm going to get myself way out the way. All right. This is photo P. So we're going to do the free version because not everybody has Adobe Photoshop or whatever the case may be. But this is a lightweight, free photo editing software. So I'm gonna highlight this. Just basically type in the name photop.com and you can actually pull this up on Google, um, Google Chrome, Windows, uh, whatever your favorite web browser. And if you really like this app, um, where the file and edit the menu bar is at once you pull it up if you go to more you can actually install photo P and it'll become an app icon on your desktop on your your Mac your Windows that way you can access it and it'll be a lot bigger without the web browser stuff so this is the photo that we're going to be using. We're going to cartoon the skateboarder right here. I'm just going to close that out. So if you download it, basically this is how it look without the web browser stuff. Now you can still work it, work on it on your web browser. So we're going to go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So click on file, top left, find file. What you want to do is click on new project name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it cartoon. Um, underneath cartoon of the name pixels. I'm going to change it to inches for me personally. Any graphic designer that I do, I like to work with 13 by 19. That way. I got a big canvas and I can see what I want. So once you change your canvas to whatever you recommend it, you can change it to whatever size you want. Um, go all the way down to the background. Now you can leave it white. You can change it black, but I like to change it transparent. That's what I'm going to do. And then click create. And this is your canvas. All right, if you hold the alt button and scroll up on your mouse pad, that roller thing on your mouse, you can do that. If you hold the mouse, I mean the space bar, you see the little hand and you can move around once you zoom in on your image. I want to pull up the skateboarder dude, already downloaded. And when you look for pictures, make sure you get like the biggest picture you can get. And that looks good so once you pull your image onto the canvas now they got these little squares right here right at the corners if you see it like this you're gonna turn it so what you want to do is have the up and down arrow like that hold the shift key and you can stretch it out that way okay so I'm gonna hold the shift key stretch this guy out and all I'm doing is trying to get as much as the person onto the canvas and then once you're done adjusting your picture you can still move them around if you want to I think that looks good right there all right now if you made a mistake you can always go back to the top left next to file click on edit and there's the undo button okay step backwards take you just like undo step forward it's like redo so back to the right right hand side follow the mouse cursor on the right you see the background then you see the image that you drug over you need to right click on the image layer and duplicate 
that way you have two layers of the same picture now make sure the top one is always selected now let's get started go back to the top menu bar where the file edit is and find filter click on filter then click on filter gallery now you want to click on paint Dobbs D-A-U-B-S it's probably the first row the third one down okay once you click on it you should have three options to the right you got or actually two options to the right brush size we want to make that five and the sharpness we want to make that um 20. okay and then you can click off anywhere you want to and then click OK now we got our image looking like this now alright now what you want to do is go to filter go to find blur okay find blur and they got a little arrow to the right so you're gonna move over and you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom where it says surface blur click on that just click OK now what you want to do is click on filter and then click on last filter then we want to do it one more time click on filter click on last filter now if you look to the right above the layers you should have the history tab you should have three surface blurs okay look where my mouse is at you got three surface blurs one two three now after you got the three surface blurs we're going to go back to filter Then we're going to go all the way down to we find stylize. So find stylize and then we're going to go to oil paint. A window's going to pop up. And the first thing you want to do, leave everything the way it is, go to the bottom where it says shine. You can highlight it, make it zero. then click OK now he's looking off he's looking weird that's that's all right that's what we want okay I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit now once you done with that step if I'm moving too fast just pause until you get through that step or rewind and then pause after each step now go to the right hand side at the bottom underneath the background okay you're gonna see these little icons at the bottom see where my, my mouse cursor is at you want to click on add raster mask it looks like a camera and then if you look at your layer your top layer you should have a white paper next to the image okay now we're going to go all the way to the left hand side underneath file just go all the way to the bottom until you see a white a white square over the black square okay it should be white and black now they got this little arrow that's connecting the two just click on it and you want the black over the white okay you see that changing on the left hand side two color squares you want black over white now once you have done that it's going to go scroll up until you find the brush tool it's going to be on the left hand side all the stuff on the left hand side is your brush is your tools so once you find the brush tool it should be about the sixth one down just click on it 
Now underneath edit, we got like a little drop down arrow underneath edit on the top. This is little drop down arrow right here. Okay. Once you find it, I need you to go one, two, three, four, five. It should be this from left to right, the top row. It should be the six one called soft mechanical 24 pixels. Click on that. Now the size is 24 and the hardness is zero. And to move that box away, you can just click on that down arrow again and move it out the way. Now, before you click on anything, hold the alt key, scroll in. Oops. Let me click over here. Let me click on the, on the layer. All right. I'm zooming in. Now you see the brush size is kind of big, right? Let me zoom out just a little bit. So you can actually go back to edit where that down arrow from, and you can lower the brush size to what's needed. And the whole purpose of the brush is just to bring back to life some of the characteristics of the person. You can fix the eyes. You can bring his eyes back, you know, his nose somewhat. You, know, you can bring his eyebrows back. Give his little ears back. So this is all to your discretion, okay? See? Now you can work on the other areas so let's say you want to bring back some of the shirts you know whatever's on his shirt so all this is to your discretion All this is like a eraser because you work on the top layer and the original pictures at the bottom. And so you, know, you can bring all that back if you want to. It's not necessary. Still want to leave it cartoony. If you scroll out, see. So work on this real quick. Just bring back some of this Nike stuff. And you can just play with this however you want to play with this right here. Only reason why I'm doing this is just to give you an idea. That way, when you scroll out, you can actually see more of the sneaker. See right there? See? Actually, I'm going to leave that undo. Leave that black. Touch a little bit of the sneaker right here. Now, if you want to, you can, you can get real technical with all this stuff right here. Just trying to bring back the wheels. And 
Now you can touch on some of the designs. So again, all all this is is, is discretion. If you scroll out, there you go. So what you got, everything. I'm going to stop right there. I don't want to take too long. So once you bring, brought back whatever you want to life on the picture, what you're going to do is hit shift, control. Hold on. Shift, control, alt, and the letter E. All at the same time. Again, shift, control, alt, the letter E. Once you do that, it's going to duplicate a new layer. Then once you get the new layer, what you want to do is click on filter, go to filter gallery. And now you're going to go to the first row on the left and find poster edges. So click on that, please. Once you get to poster edges, you can leave the thickness at two. You can put the in intensity at zero and the posters, uh, the poster realization at one. And just click OK. All right, now we're going to go underneath the layers where we found the raster mask, them little icons at the bottom below the background. It's going to be like a little circle. It's going to be called the new adjustment layer. It's a circle. Left side is white. The right side is black. So just go ahead and click on that. Click on vibrance. It's going to pop up a window and with the vibrance, uh, you can play with this, you know, this, I'll just leave it at 77, call it a day. So now what you want to do on, on the layers, look where my mouse is, where the layers is at, hold the shift key. So the top one is already selected. So holding the shift key, left click on the top three layers, right? They're all highlighted. Now hit Control G, the letter G as in golf, and it's going to create a folder. So now you can see what you have done. Again, if you made any errors, right, you can always go to edit and undo. You can always pause and rewind the video. After each step, you can pause it and play with the settings. Now that you're finished, you're satisfied. This is my next sublimation design, whatever it is. Go to file. And what you want to do is export as a PNG. And it's going to make sure the quality is at 100%. Click save. And it's going to drop down to this little, um, at the bottom left, just like Google Chrome. And then you can click on it, open it up, and it should bring up the picture. It's coming. There's your image, and then you can save as... You can rename it, right? And it should be saved to your fo file folder manager, okay? But that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is how you can cartoon any image. It doesn't have to be that image. You can use real pictures. You can use animals. Whatever you want to do, you can cartoon it. But these are like basic settings, so... 
once you get to this step, you can actually play with it. Same with the brush tools and all that other stuff. And just make sure that you pause uh, each step and you should be able to get this design done a lot faster than this 20 minute tutorial. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Y'all subscribe if you're new. Shout out to all the subscribers. Y'all stay blessed. Stay true. I'll catch you on the next one.